just because one of the girls walked off today and literally told the supervisor to kiss her ass literally in those words. You are not from the Caribbean or don't have a Caribbean parent if you don't know what all this <laughs> is going to do. The living room has officially turned into a shipping company. That just means that my mom is here. Only her. Anyways, I literally have not vlogged all week because one, mommy's here. Two, I've been running off little to no sleep. And three, I'm just a bad vlogger as it is. So, um, yeah. I'm waiting for her right now so I can leave to go to work. Today's Saturday and I work all day, which I'm already mentally so exhausted and I haven't even gotten there yet. And then, because mommy's here, of course, I'm going to just stroll in there casually late and just be like, oh, the train was delayed because mommy walks mad slow. So it takes us mad long to get to the train station. But I've been taking the latest possible one that could still get me there on time <laughs> or just right on the brink of time where I'm not like late so um yeah yesterday when I got there as I got to the door it was 9 30 but I had texted my supervisor before and told him that I might be a little bit late so when I went in there he was just like I thought you said you were gonna be late also this side of my face is just n really not letting me live like it's just doing the most, honestly. And it was like I said, I'm about to go, Mommy, come say hi to my vlog. No, birds and bees. Mommy, come on, no. Sis is back here hiding inside of this kitchen. Yeah. You know, she don't like the spotlight. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> She's really back there hiding. She's just here for a couple of days though, which you know what too. I'm low-key kind of mad. That's how it is. Because she's here for a couple of days and she came on the days where I'm not going to be off. So... We don't necessarily have like a full day together. And then she's telling me that I need to rub her nails off and polish it. When? When when I come from work, it's like 10 o'clock. Tonight too, I also yeah, have tonight, to go. Tonight. I think tonight when I come from work, I'm going to have to go to Target. Because I'm, I want to get this two bathing suits. My daughter is a water lover. She literally loves the beach. So I want to get her two oh, bathing yeah. suits. And um, this bear, some bear. She keeps watching TV and asking for everything that she... She's responsible for this. She keeps watching TV and asking for everything that she sees on TV. So she asked me for some bear and I told her, listen, I don't have an issue buying the bear. You just got to be behaving. And the other day she did something and I told her, I'm taking it out of my cart. I'm not buying it. But I should have just bought it because last night when I went to order it online, it's not going to come until after she leaves. Which means that also, look how she finessed that hairstyle. What's wrong with it? No, I'm saying finessed, meaning it's nice. Oh, yeah. Y'all see the money? She got the goods. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I think I'm going to have to go to Target tonight when I leave work because I got to go get the stuff for her. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, this is trifling. Oh, I forgot. They are? How do you make the blend... Okay, guys, I, I'm, I'm going to go because I don't want to show my... <laughs> Come on. This is where I get my culinary skills from. <laughs> okay, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. Today's my last day off, and I literally just got out of the shower. And I, like, um, filled the bath up a little bit, and I was just in there for about an hour because... It's just warm and truth is the water feels really good. I also made some curry chicken and stuff for dinner, which was so good. Literally so good. I think I'm going to go in the kitchen right now and like put the rest of it in containers and share dinner out for Dwayne. It's currently 
8.30 and Mams is not here, but this is not new. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that because since the time is a little bit hotter, you can't really leave anything out, especially not for long because it like spoils and stuff. Have work tomorrow, which I'm pretty stoked to go just because one of the girls walked off today and literally told the supervisor to kiss her ass literally in those words because he's really such a dickhead and he's like getting to everybody now literally everybody but he's about to be asked out to be honest anyways so i'm um, yeah i'm just here chilling just got out the bath and i said i'm gonna come lay down for a little bit so since this is gonna be my last like two weeks at work today is the 17th right so i have one more full week from this Also, I just got a flash flood warning and I'm just like, what is going on? Maybe that's why it was so hot today because they said when it's going to rain, there's like, it's like super hot. I don't know how true that is. Obviously, I'm not one of those weather persons. But um, I have like next Wednesday, which would be my next day off. And then after next Wednesday, I have like one, two, three like five days left pretty much and those are right behind each other i think it's gonna rain so i need to go close the windows just so it doesn't like blowing the other day i went to work and because it because it's so hot in the days i like sometimes i'll check i don't always check to be honest but if i check and it says um it's gonna rain then obviously i'll close the window but if i check and it says no then i like leave the window open so in the evenings when we do come home it's a little bit cooler in the whole apartment you know so um i left the windows open that one day and when i came like right along the window right there it had like water on the floor because it rained so that was super annoying and i had to like dry it up right now the curtains are just going crazy because the windows open but um yeah i had a productive um weekend what am I saying? It's not even the weekend. Productive two days off. And I'm saying productive because most times on my day off, I don't really get the things that I set out to do done. And I've been really good at that. Oh, just now I was saying, because it's going to be like my last, I don't know, however long at my job. I'm trying to like write a list of stuff that I do want to buy for my job. The other day, I really stocked up on some deodorant. I'm going to show you guys. Put some pants on. These doves. So, initially I had um, two more, and the other day I think I bought five at work, and my mom, I gave her two. I think a smaller one, and one of these big ones, because she really liked it too, so I'm like, hmm. I have access to it, so she could have it, so I'm going to put that on my list of stuff that I need from work. Um, the other day I bought two of the big chunks of black soap, because I really like to use the black soap on my skin and like on my face and stuff. I use it to shower. It doesn't really smell like anything, but whatever. If you were using like organic soaps and stuff, wouldn't really smell like anything. I'm also gonna buy sneakers, and it's a good thing I didn't find any yesterday because when I called them today and asked, oh hey, do we have to wear white shoes? The lady was like, no, you can wear whatever color. And I'm like, what? Because I have like black sneakers that I could already wear. She said though, for the clinicals, you're gonna have to wear like white. So I'll get it at a later date. Or maybe I should still get it now, especially since right now it's like on sale. Maybe I should do that. So I'm gonna take the time to like lay down and like scroll through Amazon and see if I can find some really nice white slip-ons to do that. What else do I have to do? I don't think I really have anything else to do. I have a lunch all planned out for the rest of the week that I have to deal with. I'm not buying anything at all for the next like couple of weeks when I get paid because I feel like all the stuff that I need I have see that's what I was going back to like I'm I've stocked up on like perfumes and stuff I have so many up there like if I showed you guys y'all would think I'm crazy and then I have mad um liners inside of the drawer there the other night I showed my mom and she was like why do you have so many were they giving away and I'm like what no I bought them but I like to stock up on things like that that way I don't necessarily run out so i pretty much have everything is what i'm kind of getting at here but um yeah we picked up the laundry the other night and there's some more to be dropped off right now so i don't know when that's gonna happen because i thought Dwayne would be here tomorrow i have to call my doctor 
my doctor's office to let them know the, this shot. But it's not, it's a little bit red, but obviously because there's a shot, it's still a little bit red, but it's not swelling or anything, which is perfect. Because she said if it's swelling, I'm going to have to get a chest x-ray and that sounds a bit much right now. So I'm glad that it's not swelling. The last time when I got it too, it wasn't swelling or anything, but... I'm pretty much gonna wind it down for the rest of the night and relax. Yeah. Try not to stress myself too much. You know, just pretty much chill. After all, I'm gonna go to sleep soon because I feel like tomorrow, um, you know, tomorrow I go back to waking up a little bit early again. So I'm gonna go to sleep early maybe about 10 o'clock i'm not gonna say early and like get enough sleep to get the day running i think tomorrow my supervisor is gonna ask me to stay the whole day instead of leaving at like five o'clock which is crazy because i was planning to ask him if i could leave at like one o'clock which i know is kind of like insane because it's a thursday but you gotta do what you gotta do but um i think i'll just pick the thing up next week or so because i'm not gonna be able to go tomorrow and i don't see him letting me come in late. I don't know.